every single month, if you say, if you really do see, we kind of work in four episode packs. Mm -hmm. We shoot once a month, four. And then every month we review the kind of the four episodes running from a data perspective. Mm -hmm. The whole team is sitting in a room. Okay. All the way from the producer to the production team to the post team. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go over what exactly, to the second, what worked in each episode and what didn't. Mm -hmm. YouTube especially, and Facebook has also rolled out this feature recently, has uh, uh, something called the, uh, the relative retention graph. Mm -hmm which will tell you every single second mm -hmm. what your audience is leaning into and what's making them be like, whoa, whoa, I'm, I, I'm mm -hmm. out of here. I mean, is that just a, they close the page, that means I'm out of here? Or are there other more subtle, they, they they're not will, tracking our eyeballs yet, right? Like it's not, <laughs> they check not their quite. phone, but they it, looked away. But it is pretty powerful to see because they know what the um, averages are across the platform for mm -hmm. content of a certain length. Okay. And they know how many people should be there at every single second. Got it. And are you being better Mm -hmm. Then average, or are you being worse than average? I see. And it's very, actually, it's very fine tuned. We know a lot of really specific things for each specific audience. Some things are universal, mm -hmm. some things are, are, are very, very specific. Mm -hmm. For example, we know you should not spend too much time blending things, people. Like, people know what blending is. It's boring. <laughs> Show it. it there for two seconds and move right, on. Okay. Like, you know. But then again. And how do you come to that? You realize, like, oh, this blender was a five-second clip. It shows up in the data. You yeah. Dipping, yeah. You, really. you see it on a graph. Yeah, it just dips right down. Uh -huh. Or yep. things like, oh, they love this graphic or this emoji appeared. And, like, the really, graph really. goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it'll be very specific for certain people. Like, uh, we have one talent who does, uh, um, like, a plastic, fake plastic surgery tips. Mm -hmm. So ways to make yourself look in your photos. Mm -hmm. Like, she has one. This is my favorite one. For those of you who are just listening, you'll be able to see it. But she yeah. takes her hand and she pushes up her nose uh -huh. like this. Uh -huh. And then she does it for, like, 45 seconds. And when you drop it, your nose is slightly upturned. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you take a photo. Like, every time she does those tips, people love it. But... If I try the exact same thing with a different talent who is more of a, say, a girl next door image, mm -hmm. who people just want to think that everything they see on social media from this person is like right. naturally rolling Real out of bed that authentic. way. Uh -huh. Like, so some things are, we see them across all the data on all the channels. Mm -hmm. It's a universal, I can tell you right now, never do it in your content. Okay. And there's some things it's like, your audience is very unique. It's so your what are one the of kind of audience. I'm curious, what, like, you know, save me some. My biggest thing here. is, is never use ending words. Yes. So it just needs to end. Yes. yes. Like, so like if you if you come to your final point and say lastly, oh. and you're gonna spend the next three minutes talking about this point, mm. people are gonna hear that, you know, finally last now, really? now yes. and they're like, Okay, I'm gonna listen to you for three seconds and be like, Peace, I'm out because mm -hmm. I know you're done. Mm -hmm. it, it's a strong enough psychological effect that if you use a word that sounds like an ending word too early, mm -hmm. you're just it's it, it's no good. Really? Like I have an example of a video, which was a lifestyle video, where the host was talking about a night cream. And mm -hmm. it's like, this is the last thing I put on my face before I go to bed. Happened three minutes into a 10-minute video. Mm -hmm. You could see it in the data. Really? Like, people are like, oh, yeah. wait, oh, 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 are you done? I'm out of here. Like, yeah, look yeah, at the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. I, you're not done, so but you it's just so like, powerful. We're wrapping this up. This is going to be the BS at the end that I'm going to need. Correct. And then uh, I, I'm out. So, so if I'm saving my best tip for the end, don't... <laughs> Don't throw, okay, D don't, don't say, say Like, it also can be, like, so, like, we won't number a lot of things. So mm -hmm. people can't figure it out from, like, oh, this was a top 10. Right. They said number 10. Uh, I'm going to listen to three out. seconds, and That's I'm done with it. Because yeah. the SEO hack for blogs is always make a top 10 list. Right, this is, right. right. So video. It has, it has really evolved over the years. But were you sitting there, like, banging your head against a wall? Like, why do people keep tuning out? This is where the gold is, and they keep leaving. Or is it, like... It's so funny. Like, you can show me a graph now, mm -hmm. and I can, without ever, seeing the video mm -hmm. I can tell from where something happened if there's a dip at a certain point yeah, in the video yeah, I'll be yeah. like you're gonna go there you're gonna find some sort of ending word oh, it is it is really it's such yep. a uh, wow, specific effect okay. exactly <laughs> wow it's all about story until the metric showed up well I, I would I it's would still all about that. story I mean it's not to negate that it's mm -hmm. just that Certain things do like you know yeah. make people. I tune always out. say that it, the data is it's not a cudgel to hit you over the head. Mm -hmm. It's your audience speaking directly to you. It just happens to be in code. Mm -hmm. And I would have to say <laughs> that's the soundbite. Yeah, that's, right there. Right, that's the soundbite. <laughs> it's your audience speaking to you in it, code. It's in code. It's in and code. and frankly, right. I would say what I'm seeing, especially over the last year in my research. It is really all about story. It reminds me of being in film school and doing structure. Because there's a lot of the stuff we know that it's not just, you know, that you need to have A, B, and C in your video. You have to have A, B, and C happening at certain points, and they have to be in a specific order. <laughs> <laughs>